Jungsman personally started and oversaw what many experts now label a genocide of the largest persecuted group in Chinese history that continues to this day. We're talking about the persecution of 70 to 100 million Falun Gong practitioners who practice truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance. Zhang personally started, orchestrated, and carried out mass imprisonment, torture, and killing of untold amount of people who practice Falun Gong. But before we get into the numbers and the horrors of his reign and how he should be remembered as the evil despot that he was, I think it's appropriate that we pause and look at some of the victim testimony in their own words to talk about his legacy. My name is Yu Han. I believe my father is a victim of forced organ harvesting in China. I was 19 when I was told he died in a Beijing detention center in 2004. I thought it must be a mistake because just three months earlier, when he was arrested for practicing Falun Gong, a meditation in the Buddhist tradition, he'd been so healthy. I saw his body before it was cremated. He was terribly thin and bruised all over. But from his throat was an incision that went all the way down his torso. In his stomach area, we could feel a hard block of ice beneath his skin that was stitched with thick black thread. One day, when I was detained in the Cha Tou Women Forced Labor Camp in Guangzhou, and I was took to a, a dark room with all the newspaper blocking the window. And I was forced to put in a double lotus position. And I was tied by a bed sheet. Both my arms are tied behind my back. And they put me in the middle of that dark room and started to beat me, started to insult me for 14 hours straight, without break, without bathroom. I am a Falun Gong practitioner from China. I have been detained in forced labor camps and prisons. I have been persecuted for about six years. So I know very well the facts of the CCP's persecution of spiritual practice. In the brainwashing class in Huangpu district, there were 30 or 40 people. We were forced to watch videos that demonize Falun Gong. The videos were designed to change my thoughts, which I then had to write down. If I refused to write, I was subject to sleep deprivation. Yeah, uh, literally, they can do anything, anything to you. I got uh, physically abused. Like uh, I was forced to uh, squat on the ground for a long period of the time. A police um, just took me in the midnight, took me to his office, and uh, handcuffed me to the to the uh, to the bed, and then he used the electric baton to shock me. And uh, after a while, you think you you can still continue? You still don't want to give up? Okay. Ta -ta -ta. It tortured me for, uh, for an hour. 